Liverpool and Everton on the day. They stay together. The 90 minutes is, is all about the game. And we had the bragging rights afterwards, which mostly Liverpool anyway. There's the first one in. <laughs> I, I went to Blackpool to see Everton play in Blackpool in 1963. Did I tell you the story about what happened there over oh, with that? I, I, I had a mate that went with me, and um, in Blackpool, them days, they had a zoo. And of course, we, we, had, a, we had a few pints after the game. And uh, he said, I'm going to put me under that cage and stroke that lion. I said, well, let's stroke that lion, I'll, I'll stroke your hand off, you know. He said, no, it won't. He said, it won't harm, won't harm me, you know. So I said, well, we'll, we'll go on then, clever fella. Let's see you do it, you know, so he put his hand in and caught the lion, no no messing, you've never seen anything move so quick in all your life. Just ripped it right down his arm there. That's why I'll, I'll, I'll never forget that game. <laughs> it's a bloody fool. Hey. This is a very old one, 1962. Guess how much the price was? Sixpence. When there was derby games played, you used to have a crowd of, of about 78,000. Oh, it was fantastic. You know, I was so excited and all waked up, you know what I mean? I, I, I made up and couldn't wait for the, for, for the kick-off, you know what I mean? And, and as soon as the kick-off, as soon as the players come out the, the tunnel, everybody, hey, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, I, 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 what, what a row you'd hear from both, both crowds, you know? Derby games were always very tense, exciting. You'd, you'd be sweating the whole game. <laughs> It's all changed what it was years ago. I only went through, through Liverpool the other day and I thought I'll get the 19 bus uh, back home so I can see what's going on, you know. And the changes I've seen, it, it, it's amazing. I don't, I don't know where I am now. Football, to me, was very important. When you're going to see your team, the whole of your body is built up for it. From the time you get out of bed in the morning, that's all you think about. Having a couple of pints first, and then you talk about the game. You know, just all built up for it, you know what I mean? And, and you just made up that your team is playing today. What was the first derby match you went to? Oh, it was, it was age, age, age seven. 80 years ago? Yeah. Who was playing in that? Dixie Dean. Ah, oh, get out. You saw the great man. You saw the great man, yeah. Did that day? Oh, uh, yeah. Did we beat them? Uh, I, can't, I can't remember. I mean, it, it's, it's a minute I can truly remember, truly remember Dixie Dean at that age, you know. It was an exciting game. Oh, yeah. And the rivalry was brilliant. Yeah. Between the players themselves, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's like a dysfunctional family <laughs> who, when it comes down to it, will all get together. When you're in the ground, you've got all this hostility. And it could be us for now, and we could be involved in all the hostilities. But as soon as the match is over, yeah, you need a pub, it's all gone. Yeah. It's like it was just there for that 90 minutes, and then it's, it's completely gone. I honestly think the football now in Derby matches is better, because what it used to be was 100 mile an hour. There was no quarter given, there was tackles flying. Yeah. In those days, it was chaos, wasn't well, it? Joe Royal's famous quote, one of Joe Royal's famous quote was, we'd kick lumps out of each other for 20 minutes and then someone would throw a ball on. <laughs> I'm Harry Ross, I'm the chaplain of Everton Football Club. I used to be the vicar of the church in the corner of the ground, St Luke's. It's the only church anywhere in the world that has a football ground in its back garden. People, when I first came here, looked at the carpets in the church and said, why have you got red carpets? You're a, an Evertonian. And I just said, well, so we can walk all over the reds. We give and take. It's a different ethos from anywhere else. It's Liverpool together, and we are united in so many different ways.
Ladies and gentlemen, last week, 11-year-old Rhys Jones was murdered whilst returning home from playing football. Rhys was an avid Everton fan and to demonstrate that all football fans are united in their sadness. In memory of Rhys Jones, Z Card. That day Liverpool played Everton's theme song and that had never been played at Liverpool before. Z Cars, never. But they done it. And that showed you how close they were. One thing about Liverpool and Everton, when times are tough, they come together. We saw that with Rhys Jones and we saw that over Hillsborough. Hill's been on the day. We were one of the, well, we, as a family, we were one of the lucky ones. My two lads went to that match. And they came back. A lot of people whose sons and daughters went there but never came back. I know people who were Evertonians who lost best mates at Hillsborough. I remember my first memory going to Anfield and I was four years of age and my mum took me along to place flowers there and I never understood what it was all about but everyone talks about your first memory of going to derby games or going to the opposition's grounds and that, that, that's your first Anfield memory. The best thing about going to our field is when you hear, you'll never walk alone. It just makes the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. It's just unbelievable. My dad is a Liverpool fan. My granddad is a Liverpool fan. My granddad's dad is a Liverpool fan. I was born a Liverpool fan. Never been here before. The derby is something special. Like, I can't remember them beating us in Anfield, but I can remember them getting a couple of goals that are good and against us. I got a lot of stick about it because I kept saying that we were going to win. A couple of years later, Gerard gets a hat-trick at home and then we give them stick back. I've always wanted to go to a derby, but the tickets are so hard to get a hold of because so many people want to go. Oh, I could look over like that. Ding, ding. I can see all the players. I can see Suarez from here. I remember the third goal against Norwich two seasons ago from the halfway line where he lobbed Woody. I do one day want to play for Liverpool, scoring at the cop end against Manchester United and Everton. Just my dream in a way. Every kid's dream to play on Anfield. Well, every Liverpoolian's kid's dream anyway. I think I'm going to try and get Suarez's autograph. <sighs> Is it normal for you not to be able to feel your toes? <laughs> Catinios. <laughs> just said thank you and he just nodded at me. So I think he understood but he didn't know what to say back. Hey, hey. I'm back in the queue. <laughs> now I don't want to leave. <laughs> After I've got one, he's, oh, this was just a taxi. Liverpool's always been a top club in this city. Oh, that's has been. He's yeah. at it. Yeah, before yeah. Bill Shankly, he went. Yeah, but how long we go back? Exactly, he says all that. fifty years, he means. Oh, wow, well, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're writing history, are we, again? Yeah, Typical Liverpool yeah. fan. <laughs> you walk to the ground, it it's just builds you up, you know what I mean? And that's it. Do you still get excited? Yeah, well, yeah. Hey, at 86 years of age. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you know, there's no way we're as hard as beating Goodison Park. I can't accept that. Because <laughs> you're the Reds. <laughs> the club's always been very, very close. 
Everton and Liverpool. That's, that's the way it's always been, that's the way it always will be. It's one of the few derbies that both the set of fans can sit together and have a laugh about it. Liverpool and Everton something different.